would like to recap last game? Again, I fell all over the place. That's what happened. Um, no. We, uh, we talked say, to some... Where I slowly slink out of camera. <laughs> we, we talked to some strange creatures on the, uh, I believe it was a fire body or a water body? Water, yep. Water body. Um, these strange eyeball creatures talk, quote unquote, <laughs> talk via mental images to some odd eyeball creatures have a nice little like exchange barter with them for some food um they give us a little bit of information about where we're headed um we make our way over to uh our destination marked on the map and upon getting close lose all sense of gravity (laughs) um and that is not changed when we get to the planet there's still no gravity we are floating around, falling around. Morgan is trying to keep us all attached to the ground somewhat successfully, sometimes the reverse of successfully uh, going up into the air. But we get there, we make it. We don't, nobody flies off into space. Um, and we fight these little like gravity well creating creatures who could kind of make their own gravity. Um, and we defeated them. Miradar again almost got sent into space. Um, and I believe we wrapped it up after having just killed all of those little uh, creatures and Mirador falling back to Earth. Thank you, Morgan. Yeah, excellent. Um, okay, so there's this, uh, this trail that leads up um, this fairly steep um, incline on this little asteroid up to this uh, structure um, at the top of a uh, rocky spire. Um, looking around, you do see more of these frog dog creatures sort of off in the distance um, on this little rocky asteroid. Um, they, it doesn't look like they're making their way towards you like actively, but there there are more of them out there. But it looks like this group that attacked you are the particularly aggressive or hungry ones. So you guys go up the trail. Um, it's Again, it's pretty uh, steep, but it's gravityless. So you're just like grabbing handholds and kind of kicking off and um, you make your way up uh, without really that much effort. Um, and yeah, you guys see this, uh, structure. It's a two story building. Um, it's large, uh, kind of broad. It looks like it's made of sandstone or some kind of, uh, tan colored stone. Um, you can see where the blocks have been worked, um, to it. There is an entryway that's about, um, it's about 10 feet long actually. So the bricks kind of project out. Um, away from the building uh, to form this um, kind of walk-up area. There's a couple of uh, doors, t- double doors, uh, look like they're made of the same stone. And etched in all of these stones uh, are runes. It looks like each stone has a rune. Uh, there are runes all over the door, um, and they glow ever so faintly with uh, magical light. Do these runes, are they, are they like any recognizable language or is it just kind of strange arcane symbols? They look like, um, kind of like how you record, we would, would record spells in a spell book um, using that same kind of notation. So it looks like someone's basically just been like scrawling spells basically all over the, the exterior of this thing. Can I take a look to try and... I don't know, get a general idea of what the spell there <clears throat> of what spell it might of what spell it might be if it is a spell or Yeah, why don't you do Arcana? Um identify or detect magic would help, but you can just kind of get an eyeball at it. I am Eldritch Adept, so I can cast Detect Magic at will. Ah, okay, nice. Um great, yeah, that'll give me uh, that'll help a lot. So go ahead and roll your arcana check. Okay. Non-natural twenty. Yeah, Morgan, you cast Detect Magic. You're kind of looking over these uh, runes. So it looks like the building uh, itself is emanating pretty strong magic of all nine um, schools of magic. Um, In this entry area, you notice um, some abjuration um, in particular seems stronger um, than than some of the other schools. Um, Abjuration and Conjuration. Um, and as you cast that spell, um, and you're kind of looking at the runes, you, you kind of had to go into this like little alcove, uh, sort of entryway, 
um, and you all hear a voice uh, just kind of come out sort of all around you. It says, welcome to the structure for assistive magic. Please enter your access code. Um, you see a panel show up and a um, timer begins ticking down. Um, there are uh, six buttons and there's a space for four access codes to be put in. All right, well, I think we all know the methods. <laughs> All right, what are you going to do? Blue, do we blue, still green, like... green? Exactly. <laughs> so, yes. orange, orange, blue, blue. Do you guys agree? Yeah, yeah. let's try that. Yes. Oh. So, okay. green, 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 purple, green. purple. After, right, so that, uh, after that after uh, that attempt, um, the voice says, "Access denied. Well, that's Security weird. measures will be initiated." Oh no! Oh, so we done. At the, at the hearing of that, can I <laughs> lay on hands myself in preparation for this? <laughs> I'd also like to chug a, a healing potion because uh, I'm not doing so hot after the last. Uh... I mean, if we're all gonna drink something, yeah, I'm gonna cast mage I armor. I too would like to drink something. <laughs> well, you, I think you have mage armor going still. It yeah. should last for like eight hours. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> I cast it furiously several more times. Oh, I, yeah, I've still got an RP, <laughs> okay. too. Um, okay, so Mirador, I have you at 35 right now. Uh, yes, I'm going to lay on hands for another 20. <laughs> so 55. Okay, great. And then, uh, Glornil, was you, were you going to chug a potion? Yeah, I got an extra seven points. So seven, okay, I so I have 60. you at 60 now. Hold off, you know, maybe. How bad can it be, you know? Okay. Uh, I'm wait. So uh, wait, yeah, so you guys, uh, you guys put that that code in. You heard that message. Um, you see that the countdown clock is still ticking along. Oh, he's oh. playing. So one of the uh, greens is definitely right. Green, so let's... red, red, red. Does that sound good? Yeah, yeah, sounds good to me. Green, red, red. I'm gonna like stand axe at the ready to like defend them from whatever's coming at us while they continue the smash buttons. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So okay, so it has to be. It has to be. Mm. Well, wait. How does that? Red, gr green. Yeah, red, green, red, red. Well, that doesn't. That, how does, I'm yeah. By this. This doesn't because the sense. two, the first red and the first green are the two whites, and the second oh, two yeah, reds exactly are the two it. blacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So red, yes. green, red, red. Ah, the two yeah. red, red, yeah. green, yeah. red, red, green, red, yeah. red. That one always throws me to Renee. <laughs> yeah. It yeah, really same. Hook me. But that's it. Yeah. Ah. Hey. All right. Um, the, uh, the voice comes back. Um, Security clearance accepted. Welcome, travelers. Um, the uh, the stone doors uh, swing open um, into an entry room, um, which is initially um, dark, but lights um, come up slowly. You all enter a um, that same stone um, going all around. And as you kind of push yourself over the uh, threshold leading into this building, um, you feel gravity reassert itself and you <sighs> boom, uh, thunk down uh, onto the, uh, the stone floor. Um, you're in a hallway about 10 feet wide and about uh, 50 feet long. There is a large double door at the end of the hallway and there's two smaller doors uh, to either side on the right and the left. The voice comes on again. Travelers, where have you come from? What can you tell me about what transpires? I have come from Waterdeep. Where is Waterdeep? The material plane. <laughs> I do not know this Waterdeep. When would you like to tell me some stories of this water deep? We're kind of busy. Appreciate it. I don't believe you are going anywhere. The um, doors, the double doors that you guys came through, bam, slam shut. You see, uh, 
the uh, the runes briefly glow. Their runes are all over all the stonework in here too, on the stones on the floor as well. Waterdeep is a large city. Far, far from here. Thank you, travelers. Tell me about magic. What do you know about magic? Uh, we know lots about magic. Um, <clears throat> I studied the magic of gravity. Um, okay, I'm going to... Um, Morgan, I'm going to have you uh, pop into a breakout room. For oh, just goodbye. Oh. It was nice uh, knowing you. Play a, a, little, a little scene. <laughs> Gonna get all Run. your magic sucked out by a fucking building. He's gone. He didn't get to hear the warning. It's too late. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I'll volunteer. Like, yeah, I'm from here. That's whatever. Like, it's not like that's going to matter. But if when it started asking, like, who knows magic? I'm like, <laughs> I'm not volunteering I, I how much I know magic. about magic. <laughs> I feel like we yeah. ended up this... at a little old lady's house that like we cannot pull oh. escape from. Oh my goodness! I was like, tell a story. So I'm like, oof. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to, to just start, start talking. Also, I for re like outside of game, I know almost nothing about water deep. <laughs> yeah, I know like, like this much. I was like, where has Mog Moth been? <laughs> I know, like Mog you said, that I like, well scrolled through my character. She's like, where am I from? <laughs> You are from, oh, what was it called? Uh, Mithril you, Hall. Yeah, I was like, there, we did actually have a name for where you were from. I can't tell you anything more about what that's like. Just one giant hall. It's, it's a big, I'm just going to say it's a big I mean, mine. just Lots think of Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings uh, mountain, and you're pretty much there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> to the dwarf. Like Moria. <laughs> you're, from, you're from Moria, basically. Yeah. <laughs> So I expect that Will's not Will's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> huh. That was strange. Learn anything useful? What what was strange? Absolutely nothing. I just Perfect. remembered I just remembered something. It feels this I'm having the strangest case of deja mustard right now. What? What? Oh, deja vu. That's the one. Are you okay, Morgan? What can you tell me about magic, travelers? Uh, someone else go. Um, Not we... much as for myself. How about you tell us something? We're looking for magic ourselves. I believe, Dwarf, that is not accurate. I detect that your axe is magical. You're a liar. Yes, it is. Yeah, it, um... Uh... Helps me fight better. It's about the extent of what I know. I'm not that particular about the ins and outs of how it works, just that it does. We all have different sources of magic. What magic do you know? Can you show me magic? Um, well, I mean, unless I got some blood around here, the axe isn't going to do a whole lot of good. But <laughs> guess I've got. <laughs> I guess I've got this. <laughs> and I'll hold up the ring. There, there's no one else besides us, right? Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, that's okay. I can, I can cut it out. It, yeah. Um, and I'm going to activate it and just point to... Who do I want to point to? <laughs> oh, I'll point to Morgan since Morgan's <laughs> our kind of go-to magic person. Sorry, Morgan. Um, and activate the Ring of Density. Um, so you're just heavier. You've got half movement until I cut it out, um, which I will if anything goes weird. Um, so just like, just jump a little bit and show us that you can't go as high. Right. I, I try to jump a little bit, but I struggle at it and I manage <laughs> to get my feet, like the soles of my feet, like half an inch off the ground. It says okay, hold on, I'm reading, I'm reading the description. Jump. It says 1d6 targets. Do I get to, like, choose how many targets can I do one, or do I have to, like, roll and, like, have to target that many? Uh, yeah, why don't you roll? Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Five we targets, all get... we're all stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so we all have Amazing. Well, duration is concentration, so you can yeah. drop it if you like. Yeah, once I showed it off, I'll drop it. it. Oh, I can't 
<laughs> that is remarkable magic. Thank you for sharing it with me. What other magic do you know that you can share? I'm going to try something a little... I'm angrily looking at Glornil since uh, Morgan is the gravity person. Um, <laughs> I'm going... Come on, to, you can't have it. Morgan's going to... Morgan's gonna, uh, going to cast Minor Illusion and just make some, like, tiny fireworks or something. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. You, sh you do the tiny fireworks. The voice says, Thank you. That one I have seen before. While this is... While the team is just throwing spells, um, can I, like, look around the room? Is whenever magic is activated, is anything, like, visibly changing? Are they charging something up? Is something sneaking upon us? Let's go. Um, you do notice that, like, the runes, you know, glow, like, the runes kind of glow in time with the voice. Like, when you hear the voice, you see the runes slightly glow. Um, and when Glornell did uh, his ring, uh, the runes also glowed. Um, but they, like, glow and then fade. It's not like a building thing. Right. Well, we should knew something. Maybe you can tell us something now. We're looking for what are we looking for? A piece of a portal. What type of magic is that? Is that tel teleportation? I don't know. <laughs> there are Before many wonders <laughs> here in the structure of assisted magic travelers. What other magic can you teach me? Can we see the many treasures? Uh, here, I can, I can show some magic. Here, not like me. <laughs> That's fine. here, Frida. You come um, over here. Give me a, this give me a persuasion you. check, actually, Frida. Oh, it might like me. Maybe we're currently in a point of stasis. Doesn't like me. What'd you get? Eight. Eight. Okay. I mean, it doesn't dislike you. It's just not particularly swayed. Uh, Mirdar, were you going to cast something? Yes. Uh, here, gather around. I, I've got a spell I'll show here. And I cast uh, on myself and Frida and Glornil. I cast Aid. Ooh, okay. Ooh. So all of your current and maximum hit points go up by five. Oh. Okay. For the next eight hours. Okay. Cool. Current. So who is that? Glornell? Glornell, Frida, and myself. Bill Salty. Okay. So uh, Glornell, have you at 65, Frida at 60, and Weirdar at 60? Yep. Okay. Um, and what else does that do? Is it give you like a saving throw advantage or something? No, it's just that it's the you're it's basically like you get healed for five, but it's it's in increased your maximum right so it can be if you get damaged it can be healed back up above your normal maximum right and okay. it stacks with temporary hit points cool great um okay yeah the voice says thank you travelers that is an interesting spell i have not seen before glad you could see something new how how often do people come here and show you new spells it's not the questions we should be asking if it's one spell for one question. Uh, give me a persuasion check, Miradar. Uh, seven. Seven. Um, yeah, uh, it, it does not answer. Uh, instead, it says, what other magics can you show me? All right. Haven't. Let's just keep going. We're going to stay here. We're just going to go through everything and it still might not even be satisfied. Maybe not. Um, I have the researcher ability. That it's, means nothing to me, Morgan, so you're a yeah. researcher. I said it was <laughs> Ross for me. I know. I don't care. <laughs> what, is that, uh, what does that get you, Will? When you attempt to learn or recall a piece of lore, if you do not know that information, you often know where and from whom you can obtain it. Usually this information comes from a library, scriptorium, university, or a sage or other learned person or creature. Your DM may, might, might rule that the knowledge you seek is secreted away in an almost inaccessible place or that it simply cannot be found. So what were, you, what were you thinking about wanting to know? I was thinking that 
experience with research might actually like give me like give me some insight into how to into how to get this oh my okay is sure. appropriate yeah. system to gank it yeah, yeah yeah why don't you do an insight check with advantage on that then okay That's a 17 and a four, so 17. Um, yeah, you, you have a little bit of experience with um, magical uh, constructs and those sorts of things that seek information. Um, your impression based on what it's asked and said so far is that it just seems to want data and, and knowledge, specifically in the form of magic. Um, so, like, it just seems to be like a data mining device, basically, is the impression that you get from this thing. And it, <clears throat> and I don't think that it would, that it can actually give out information, it just absorbs it. Um, I don't know that you, if you've established that or not. Um, I don't think that you've successfully got it to give you any information yet, okay. but... Frida, you noticed that Frida and Mirad are particularly unconvincing. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so this, I think I have some idea of what this is. Obviously, its job is to collect is to collect information on magic. Um, really. And you know, it's just going, and that's its primary objective. So it's going to value that above everything else. Um, Mogmoth, um, you haven't tried anything. Um, maybe you can convince it. Convince it to do what? Uh, convince it to actually give us some information instead of, instead of keeping us in here and just asking us to perform spell after spell. Uh, to be fair, we All haven't right, tried let's be to specific. Leave. What? What information do you want me to try and get from this magic hut? Oh. Where's the piece of the portal? That we're right. That's what they do. All right, magic hut. You we may address me as the structure for assistive magic, or Sam, if you prefer. All right, <laughs> Sam. What I want to do is I'll show you something I can do, and then you're going to show us something we want to know. That seems like a reasonable proposition. Go all ahead right. and roll your uh, persuasion, Mogmoth. <clears throat> but it's reasonable. <laughs> I ask that. He just hates me. Since it's reasonable to be advantage. Wait, what's 16 plus 8? 24. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, Sam says, yes, I will accept that proposition. All right, try not to have your mind blown by the following. And Mogmoth cast Disguise Self. Uh, can I use it to look like one of the frog dogs? Do you think that's within <laughs> one foot of of what I look like? Uh, yeah, if you want to get like down on all fours. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys, you guys see one of these horrible gravity things that uh, just attacked you outside uh, where Mogmoth was. Um, Sam says, thank you. That is a interesting trick. What are you looking for? The frog dog says, now what I want to know is, where's, where's a piece of a portal looks like? And he, he describes the, the piece that we're looking for. Okay. Um... Yeah, Sam uh, replies and says, Sorry, Traveler, access to that information is restricted. Oh, no, no, we had, we had a deal, Sam. I can grant you access to that archive if you can get me the access code in a journal. It is a journal located in the library. If a frog that. dog could look petulant, <laughs> this frog dog looks petulant. Yeah, fr frog dog could absolutely look petulant. Like all, all 
eight of its eyes are like looking downcast. And... <laughs> Where's this library? The library is the door to the left of the main entrance. Um, and actually, the uh, right, the door the, the door the door to the left uh, lights up uh, as if light, the light spell was cast on it. And this journal looks like it is small and wedged into the far bookshelf. It's a start. Yeah. I mean, exchange of information for information. We can. That sounds perfectly reasonable to me. Look. The frog dog hops into the library. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Morgan follows. Morgan's like library, and then chases after the frog dog. Right. Yeah, um, we our strolls along. We're behind. still half speed. <laughs> I, I drop. Okay. I charges <laughs> in slow motion. <laughs> like, well, Gordo, have you been been maintaining that this whole time? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I wasn't planning to, but this is a funny moment, so, you know, I'll, I'll let it go. <laughs> I'll drop it once we're in the library. <laughs> drop it, like, right as he's getting there, and suddenly he just takes off and hits the wall. <laughs> Morgan Perfect. just takes off. <laughs> Do it yeah, right Morgan. as they're about to go up some stairs. <laughs> the hems, the hem of Morgan's robes, they're just, they're just, like, uh, pointing straight down at the ground while they're, like, trying to run but it looks more like really slow power walking. <laughs> um, okay, you guys walk into the library. There's uh, large stone shelves on the walls. Uh, most of them are actually empty. There's a bunch of books that used to be on the on the bookshelves, presumably, that are scattered around the room. Um, they're lying on a few tables in here. Uh, they're strewn on a couple of armchairs, um, and they're kind of scattered around the floor. There's also a small wooden bookshelf packed with thinner more ornate volumes uh, on the far side of the library. All right. Do we see the notebooks to which Dan was referring? Uh, Is it obvious far... which one that would be? <laughs> um, yeah, so looking at the wood um, bookshelf, it looks like... Um, actually, give me an investigation check, Frida. Six. <laughs> Six. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of books. I'm gonna look forward to. All right. Um, so investigation. Yep. Twenty-one. Um. Yeah, Morgan. So, um, most of the books um do not have any. Um, or at least the books that are like you kind of walk through. You know, you kind of kick aside a couple of books that are on the floor. Um, in the wooden bookshelf, most of the books don't have titles on them, um, but one does, a, a pretty slim uh, journal um, that is labeled uh, Illumar. Right. I, I pin myself to the shelf and look back over my shoulder and say, I found it! <laughs> and then... You said there are books strewn across the floor. Does it look like this place was like ransacked or something? Like why is stuff? It does look like it was ransacked. Yes, it does. Um, okay, Morgan. Uh, Morgan, you reach out and grab it. Yes, and I open it up as soon as I as soon as I have it because I want okay. to know what's in it. Great. Um, yeah, you slide the journal out. Um, you open it up, so Morgan, you do not see the massive eye that appears in the bookshelf as a wooden pseudopod curls out and smashes into you. Uh, everyone roll initiative. Oh. Who, who is up close to me? Because if you're within 10 feet, you get a plus four. Um, everyone except that. Morgan is, uh, it's not that big of a room. Cool. Did you say a wooden pseudopod? Yes, this uh, bookshelf is not a bookshelf. Oh. <laughs> you said it's plus four, Sam, to... Yes. Uh, Plus four. Wow, those are some initiative rolls. <laughs> we are on it. Some you are except for Morgan, very fittingly. Yeah. <laughs> Heavy Morgan. <laughs> yeah, you guys are so affected by the dead city. <laughs> are we? I did. I did say as soon as we entered, I dropped it okay. because okay. I don't want to be caught unaware. I worry something like this would happen. Um. Okay. Yeah, Mogmoth, you you're just uh. 
kind of hopping around, uh, frog dog like, and yeah, you see this bookshelf just animate and these pseudopods whipping out and bludgeoning Morgan. How far is it from me? Am I within its range? Um, you're uh, where you are right now. No, you guys were more or less in the in the entryway. Um, who else? Uh, so Frida did investigation. So she so Frida kind of walked over to the bookshelf, looked at it, and then Morgan went over. So Frida's like kind of on that side of the room. The rest of you guys are more uh, oh, I in don't the get entry the area. Score from the Say again. So I don't get the plus four from the editor. No, you do. You're like okay. halfway. Um, okay. So yeah, Magmoth, it's you're you're unless this thing has a really long reach, you're you're right now well out of its range. Okay, I'm gonna back up to the back of the room to be even okay. more out of its range, and then <laughs> okay. I'm gonna cast some Eldritch Blasties. All right, Eldritch Blast. All right. Uh, so that one probably doesn't hit. I mean, it's a bookshelf. It might. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe its dexterity is not great. Slide it on fire. Uh, 14? Nope. All right. Whoa. What about 23? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. And then I'll just roll for the other one as well. Uh, what about 20? Yes. Okay, great. This might be relevant. Is that doing force damage or fire damage? Uh, force damage. <sighs> And then he does six damage plus ten damage. For so total 16. sixteen total. Mm -hmm. All right, you uh, you nail this thing with a couple of bolts of force. Um, pieces of wood splinter off of it, and underneath that wood um, is some kind of fleshy uh, creature. Uh, Miradar. Uh, okay, so Miradar is going to. Uh run up a little closer, not like quite within melee just yet. Um, okay, maybe like next but, to Frida, like halfway? Yeah, kind of about halfway next to up next to Frida, and as okay. she's running up, she's going to reach out and cast uh, Moonbeam on it. Ooh, okay, what's that do? So it's a five-foot radius... For, I, I, I don't know how tall the ceiling is here, but if it was, it's, it's up eight to feet a 40... Tall. Okay, it's a 40-foot high, five-foot radius column of moonlight that beams down, and I just want to cast it where it's like up on this thing. Okay. That is attacking uh, um, Morgan. Morgan. Okay. But and does this cause damage? Is this a saving throw? It, it is a saving throw. So it's. I don't know if this, whatever this thing is, is is it considered a shape changer? Yes. Um, you guys are actually experienced enough adventurers. This is a very large mimic. Okay. So that's what that's why Morgan kind of or Murdar reckoned this was a good idea. So a, cha a shape changer makes its saving throw with disadvantage. Ooh. Um, and it, it makes fails. a con save. Okay. Um, so it takes two d10 um, radiant damage. Okay. Uh, so that's thirteen radiant damage, and okay. it wow. also a shape changer instantly reverts to its original form. And oh, whatever that may be. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're uh, you're not gonna like it. Mirador <laughs> um, <laughs> probably uh, had some inkling, but uh, so this thing that was uh, once a bookshelf is now this like fleshy, writhing, uh, like tan flesh-colored mass of like just muscles and. Uh, it's basically just this ball of skin with these pseudopods and like all these little muscles controlling like every piece of it. Um, it, it does not look, it's, it's pretty horrible. And it, it can't change back into, it can't assume another form until it leaves that column of light. Okay, cool. Disgusting. Uh, Glornail. Uh, I would like to enter a frenzied rage. Oh, okay, <laughs> great. Can I hear your frenzy yeah. scream? Ah, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna charge in, axe swinging, and like make my two attacks on it. Okay. <laughs> First one is that's gonna be a lot. Uh, Twenty five. Okay. Uh, so that is hold, on. hold my dice out. That's not super great, but twelve points of damage. 12 points, okay. All right, you hack into this mass of flesh, uh, injuring it fairly badly. Nice. Uh, <laughs> sorry. 
Yeah. Uh, my second one is going to be a 28 to hit. Yep. Uh, 15 points of damage. Another 15? Okay. And then do you have another attack? Uh, not this round, so I can't do the bonus action until next round since raging. Oh, yeah, because your bonus action was to rage. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, great. Frida. Okay. I Can I make it to it? To the creature? Yeah, it's like 10 feet away from you. Wonderful. So I'm going to hit it with my spear. All right. Uh, first attack is a 26 to hit. Yep. And that is 13 points of piercing damage. All right. I will attack it again. Okay. With 29 to hit. Yep. <laughs> 16 points of piercing damage. Uh, it's it's dead. You guys, uh, you guys just stab the hell out of this uh, poor innocent mimic that just wanted a lunch. Um, Sam. And, this is uh, Sam's pet. This this writhing this writhing mass of flesh is suddenly still, uh, and little Icor oozes out of the wo numerous wounds that you have uh, stabbed in it. It is destroyed. So this all happened before Morgan. What, did this all happen yep. before Morgan was aware of what was going on? Yep. yep. <laughs> okay. So, you, were, you, were, you said I grabbed the book and I immediately opened it. So, <laughs> so Morgan's gonna look up and and look back at where the where the book the bookshelf is and gone be like, and be like, <laughs> "What happened?" You got the book. Let's go. Let's. Um, Glornell, are you going to come out of your frenzied rage, or just uh, try to... I mean, if nothing else happens, it's going to auto-drop, so... Well, I could slap you a couple times. I was going to say, you could, like, out. you could, like, run into the wall and just, like, attack the wall if you want, if you want to keep it going. I mean, yeah, at least until I'm sure there's no threats. I'm going to, I'm just going to, like, find another bookshelf and just smash it. Wow. <laughs> Sam has invited us into their home, and you're just going to smash all their bookshelves. Wow! <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, okay, you guys, uh, you guys toss the library. Uh, you don't find anything else um, in the uh, this journal, um, Morgan. You find a couple of entries that are meaningful. Uh, most of it seems to be like um, personal notes um, about uh, progress. Um, it looks like this is some kind of research station. Um, but most of it's like personal notes to the author. Um, there's a handful that you look at that are um, potentially meaningful. Um, I will upload them. I would like to see them. Thank you. Um, so yeah, Morgan, you you rifle through and you find these um, these little uh, entries in the journal that seem to be related to Sam and like strange goings on, I suppose. Sam has learned to anticipate more than just our spellcasting needs. It reminds me to go a normal hour, whatever that is. Miradar is going to just call out to the air. Sam, did you know that that thing was there? Yes, Traveler. It is a security feature to protect the journal. Can you journal, let us you know about us security features in the future beforehand? <laughs> that is a very general request. If you're going to ask us to retrieve something that's protected by a security feature, please tell us before the security feature tries to prevent us from taking it. <laughs> Your request has been processed. Thank you. Um, okay, so that's what you guys get. Um, you also find, uh, Morgan, there is a, um, there's a page with a bunch of passwords on it, uh, which is presumably what Sam um, needed for... Uh... Oh, I'm trying to, like, decode this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, let's see your code. <laughs> I was like, mm, I was like, right now, I've got the different color. Oh, write down all the numbers that show up. <laughs> it's gonna stop now. 
Um, yeah, so you find you find a, a page of passcodes, um, which is presumably what Sam uh, needed. Um, you hear the voice speak up. Travelers, can you please share what are the journal entries? If this is your place, why don't you tell the password already? The builder maintained his own passwords. And what, what, are, what are you hoping to get from these passwords? Please share the passwords with mm. me. Neat. And the other where, where, journal entries. Where did the builder go? Ilumar was pushed off the edge of the railing and lost to space. I beg your pardon? Who pushed him? Security detail. Is security detail still here? Yes, it is active. Uh, no. Not encouraging. Frankly, Sam, I don't care what you do. I just care about one, the one thing that we're here for. So can we come to a deal? You get this passcode. We get what we want. That is the agreement. And you let us go with it? I require more data. Please Sam. continue to share data with me. Sam, do you have any control over security detail? Of course. They are under my control. In that case, could you... Could you uh, have them avoid designating us as a threat or, or uh, something that needs to be dealt with? Current threat level is green. As in, no threat? Current threat level is green. So, just deal. If Go I'm ahead, understanding you, you correctly, you control the security detail. What pushed your builder off into space? For what reason? They were attempting to inhibit my research. Hmm. How were they doing that? They sought well, that we access. We don't similarly inhibit you. <laughs> they sought access to my workshop, which you have also requested. And once we access your workshop, you plan also to push us off into space. Do I understand that? You cannot be allowed to see my work. Well, that's all right. Well, I'll close our eyes. We only want to see the uh, <laughs> the piece we came for. We only want that that one piece, and we will happily be on our way and leave you to your workshop and to your research. Sam, can you have security detail bring us what we requested? That way, we don't have give me to see. A, give me a persuasion check, Morgan. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, you know, with Mogmoth's dealing, uh, you guys you guys have so far dealt fairly well. Um, Sam says, I will give you the item you request by the security detail and permit you to depart if you teach me all of the magic that you know. Mm. We can, I mean, I can teach you as much magic as I can do. I, we had to fight our way here, so I don't have access to all my magic. But I can gladly teach you what I can, what I can still cast if if you're if willing you to let me, us depart. If you teach me magic, I will allow you to rest and recuperate. There are quarters that the builders used that I will allow you to use. Sam, so how many spellcasters do you have locked up right now to teach you magic every day? Just nobody, nobody is currently teaching me besides you. Hmm. Sam, uh, I hate to keep harping on this, but if we rest, security detail will not uh, will not inhibit our rest. Correct. Current threat level is green. Well. We want to take well do we want to take a rest and no do some magic 
not particularly. I mean, if it means we can get out of here with the information and no fight, I am perfectly amenable. We right, are very, but we are, we are if they're going to keep requesting us to take more and more rest, keep doing more and more magic. We, as long as we can get our thing and go, I'm okay staying and casting a little magic. That's fine. This seems, this thing seems to be reasonable. It we can reason with it. They just said, they just said teach. Can you teach your magic without necessarily expending the energy to do so? That's a good point. Morgan, perhaps. Mm, that is kind of how I how my magic works. I don't know about Mirador and Mor Mogmoth, though. Our magic is not necessarily that same way. My magic is terrible and will shatter Sam's mind. Um, I'm not sure Sam has a mind to shatter in the traditional sense. I think Sam can hear us and that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> I said in the traditional sense. I mean, is there a rush to go? Like, we can breathe here. No one's breathing the air on our ship right now. As long as our ship's in place and not getting stolen. Hey, Sam. How long did the last spellcasters who were teaching you magic stay here? The last residents remained with me for five years. And were they the people who were originally here, or were they people who came later? They came after the builders. Did why did they stay for five years? They wished to use the facilities to do research. Uh -huh. To do their own research or help you conduct yours? This is not adding to my database. Please yeah. cast a spell to teach me more. Okay, here's, um... Uh, I don't know. Light cantrip, you probably already know it. <laughs> I know I that one. A dog. <laughs> uh, that is not a interesting spell. All right, just for the sake of sating Sam, uh, I'm going to cast Sapping Sting on the on the corpse of the mimic. Okay, great. That is wonderful. Thank you, traveler. You're welcome. So we have the agreement. If we give you the passcode. Security will bring us the object we desire. After we can you teach me what you know about magic. We can show you our magic, get some rest, and be on our way. Well, how many days if, will it take for you to show all of your magic? Like, I'm not saying no to the plan, I just want to know a general timeline. Like, can you cast all of your magic in one day? Well, don't forget, Frida, we are in a gravitational anomaly. Time doesn't pass as quickly. That wasn't the or original agreement. We agreed passcodes for portal piece. I'm not sure how much bargaining power we have, Mogmoth. You have now requested that security brings you the piece you request, rather than retrieving it independently. Right. We would gladly retrieve us. it independently if you would allow us to do so and leave. That is not the agreement under discussion. We'd like to bring a new agreement to the floor. <laughs> the agreement under discussion is that you teach me the all the magic that you know, and the security will bring you the piece, and you may then depart. With the piece? Like, I would like you to say that phrase specifically. You depart with the piece. All the way oh. away. Like, into our ship, and then away. I cannot help you yeah, once okay. you leave the building. Mm -hmm. Leave the building. Is there, oh, they seem to be confined to the building. Sam seems to be confined to the building. We'll see. 
as long as security does not inhibit our ability to leave, we can do this in a matter of days. Or facilitate our ability to leave. You may find restful quarters for your stay. Well, think, get kidnapped by a building. I think it would take me, okay, at, at absolute most, it would take me no more than a, hand, a few days to go days. through everything I know. Like, days it, would take, to it would take five. It, so to cast literally everything on the spell list, it would take five days. Not you everything. Pre everything slow. prepared would be like two, but everything on the spell list. Boy, well, so tough. paladins have access to their entire spell list. It's the problem. It's just you pick which ones each day to prepare. I'll fam that. So, yeah. yeah, that's why I'm saying this with my fingers crossed, so that you guys understand the mechanics of paladins. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. so. What Mirador says in, is, have. what Mirador says is, in person, it, it, like in character, is at most it would take me a few days to cast everything I could possibly cast. It would probably take me a few days. I could probably, I would probably lag just behind Mirador to be able to do that myself, because I, I can cast, I can prepare fifteen spells per day, and I think I have. I don't know, maybe around 30 total. Uh, so you could probably get it in, Morgan could probably get it in like two or three days tops. Um, yeah, I the, mean, you guys, you guys can, it, between zero and five days, uh, the, yeah. we don't need to figure there, out the specifics yeah. of it. There's enough food, there's air, okay. we have gravity here. So I say we just, I, I'm willing, Sam, I'm willing to show you my magic if you will let us depart here with the piece in safety. Same. That is a splendid agreement. Okay. Is that is everyone okay with that? I, I am. know it's we didn't plan on staying here that long, but as long as we can stay here in peace and safety, that's more than most places out out here. Stall shit. Just okay, so you guys gonna settle down? Yeah, will our ship stay protected? <clears throat> Just haphazardly tied to a rock as it is. Um. Yeah, Morgan, you you know, you know, it, in an area with no gravity, unless like a asteroid or, or a meteor or something comes along and hits it, um, you know, it's it's as safe where it is as it would be anywhere. Um, or frog dog, or sabotage. Yeah, no, frog dogs are totally probably going to be boarding it this whole time. Uh, so I explained that. To, so I explained that to everyone. That okay, it's probably uh, an object that large in a planet on a planetoid with no gravity probably isn't going to move unless something really large hits it. I don't know about the frog dogs though. I don't know about Sam. Sam seems to be acting only according to its instructions right it's it's got its objective and it's it seems to be single-mindedly pursuing that directive i hardly think it's builder instructed it to push it into outer space well we're we we took the we took the agreement that keeps us from doing what uh what that person did yeah, that's why we're staying here and having the security bring us the object rather than going to the lab to see it in person. Because we, because yeah, seeing the lab Mirador. is what, what causes that. So I'm okay staying a few days if it's, if that's what it takes. Also, I need a rest. I could very well use a rest myself. Are you guys going to do anything to secure the Dole's all? Are we allowed to go to the Dolezal to secure it? <laughs> Can we um, think of a way to secure it? Yeah, that's a good question. No <clears throat> Mogmoth can rope. get there, but I don't know what we would do with it. <laughs> You'll probably just need to clear it of frog dogs once you get back. <laughs> that's that's, that's going to be the same whether we do it now or then. Like <laughs> It's going to have frog dogs on it. So, 
I'd say you we leave right now. We're taking your deal, Sam. Don't worry, we're taking your deal. This is just hypothetical, because just like you, I love Tumblr. But if we wanted to leave right now, would you let us? Why would you leave? Our no, agreement is not do complete. Do you know what a hypothetical situation is? This Sam? is not logical. Do you know what the word hypothetical? Security threat level is okay. yellow. Apparently, they don't know the Rita, word hypothetical. Read it, calm. Let's Sam, call, please, let's disregard, this. please disregard uh, Frida's previous uh, Someone most actually statements. said calm to me in real life. I think I would actually punch them in the face. <laughs> That's Frida's reaction too, honestly. Like that. I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> like if someone came up to me and was like, calm, for asking a simple, not even an aggressive question. All right, roll ahead. I would going... punch them in the face. I'm going to bump the threat level. Oh, are you? Am I supposed to be punching you right now? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, so. you know, it's up to it's up to Frida, but it makes sense. What you get? I What's my modifier for punch? Uh, your proficiency plus your strength. Okay, this fun. Sixteen hit. Yes. No. Wait, who? Wait, who are you? Hitting? Who are you punching? Mirror dog. Is that the one? That said oh, oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that was one that said to calm down, and you, yeah, mirror dog's okay. got a lot I mean, higher AC than that. Something too, but Sam was more offensive, so I got mad. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. We're just trying to... I I understand you're being very reasonable. We just don't want to upset you do not how, our host. How does this, oh, how does this help well, How does this help me learn magic? These behaviors do not seem to be progressing our shared goal of learning me magic. This is, uh, uh, this human is a human nature. Of... We'll get to the magic you, after we rest, but this is have... a human nature, cultural... Yeah. The... Sam, do you have something that we, uh, an object or that we could cast spells onto to demonstrate some of our spells that need a target? Certainly. I can bring a security feature to be a target. Uh, okay. An inactive one. The one that's not going to attack us back? <laughs> Current threat level is yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yes, it well, would we're. We are simply going to demonstrate our spells for you, and we're not trying to harm you or this facility. Here, have you seen this one? And I will cast, oh, I don't know, protection from good and evil and good on my Cool. Oh. That is new. Thank you. Oh, let me mark Security that. detail is en route. Why? No. Good when it's yellow. <laughs> Um, okay, so are you guys gonna, gonna like, uh, so exploring the rest of the um, workshop, uh, so you find uh, the quarters, um, there's three bedrooms here, um, as well as a little uh, kitchen area, there's um, some food that's uh, fairly stale, but you can uh, rehydrate it, but you also have your create food and water. Um, you also find a, a garden that's through the double doors um, opposite the main entrance. Um, there's a garden in there. Um, you guys, uh, there's like a animated shrub and a shambling mound that activate. Uh, you guys wipe them out without any difficulty. Um, and um, you teach Sam um, the spells um, that you have. Um, and after three days, um, the uh, the door to the uh, the kind of crew area opens up. Um, and there is, uh, so the, the security detail uh, was a, a suit of animated armor um, that came in and that acted as a target for your various um, targeting spells. Um, and after you guys have finished teaching Sam all of the spells, um, this, basically it looks kind of like an iron golem um, comes in. Um, it has a... Um, it's it's chat. Its body is not like solid iron, like an iron golem's. It's kind of more like patchwork. Um, it's bearing the the piece of the portal that you um, wanted, um, and speaking directly from it. So no longer just like emanating around. Um, Sam says, "Here is the peace, travelers. I have completed my upgrade and would like to journey with you." 
Um, <laughs> real quick, Sam. Um, if there are creatures attacking us um, while you're journeying with us, will you will you act as security detail for us? I wish to study you and learn all about your strange cultures that Frida had mentioned. Protocol mm-hmm. I mean, why not? Well, can I refer back to the story of the builder? Uh, you know, you do make a good point. The Sam. builder was acting against my interests. Be that as it may, we'd simply hate to have you along and you push us into outer space. Sometimes the needs of one of us has to be subsumed in the needs of all of us. And that does perhaps... not sound logical. Well, then probably you don't want to go with us. <laughs> Highly <laughs> logical, the lot of us. Uh, hey, give me Jeff. a give me a persuasion hey, with advantage on that log moth. That is that is a compelling <laughs> that is, line of uh, that's good. Very nice. Twenty four. Like nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Sam, if it's uh, Sam doesn't like show any emotion, it just extends its arms uh, to hand you the piece of the portal and says, "Your logic is irrefutable. I will wait nope. for future travelers." <laughs> We that appreciate your understanding, Sam. Smart Thank choice. you for everything. Thank you for your assistance. We're Let's probably going to implode in like 30 seconds. So. Let's, get, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> 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 Thank you for your assistance, Sam. All right. Uh, you guys uh, got the second piece of the portal. <laughs> Um, you head back to the Dolezal, uh, you uh, clear the frog dogs, they're not concentrated, so you guys just go and like, you know, with five of you together, you're able to wipe them out pretty easily. Um, get back in the helm and orient on the next piece and head out. Yeah. Success. Very nice. well done. Sort of nice sad to leave done. Sam behind. I mean, malevolent, I know, I know. Uh, malevolent AI, though it was, it'd be so cool to have a talking. Right? <laughs> it kind of would. It kind of would. That's why I was like, you know, maybe. But then you were like, we could get pushed into space. And it's like, well, you know, that is a good point. Yeah, maybe his upgrade was to <laughs> Sam 9000. Uh, Sam 9000. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, yeah, you guys uh, negotiated with Sam, didn't kick your <laughs> kick the doors in, so um, you got through quicker than expected. So that's pretty much all I had for tonight. <laughs>